Jetcom 911. What is the address of the emergency? So I'm three days into being really, really ill. I'm now having hard times breathing. I need help. There's a lot of concern and some confusion in our community as we face the challenges of the COVID-19 or coronavirus outbreak. Many people are worried and wondering if they should call 911. I'm Captain Travis Hopwood, Safety and Medical Officer with West Metro Fire Rescue. Over the past few days, our crews have been responding to a growing number of emergency calls with patients who have COVID-19 symptoms. Some of those patients have been transported to local hospitals, filling up emergency rooms and stretching medical staff and resources. This is really only the beginning. As we move forward in the fight against this virus, we expect the number of cases to grow exponentially and that will greatly tax our healthcare system. What we've seen in other countries and now in American cities could happen here in our fire district. We need your help. Please, don't call 911 for information about COVID-19, to get a COVID-19 test, or if you have mild symptoms like a cough, fever, diarrhea, or other flu-like symptoms. The majority of people who develop COVID-19 will be able to stay at home and manage the virus while they recover. If you're not feeling well, call your primary care doctor first. Only call 911 if you have a true emergency, like symptoms of a cardiac arrest, a heart attack or stroke, if you're choking or having difficulty breathing, if you have difficulty speaking, walking or seeing, if you've had an allergic reaction or sudden severe pain, or if you're feeling confused, dizzy or disoriented. We realize that this is a stressful, uncertain time for our community. Know that we are ready to respond if you need us. With your help, we've got this.